Hi there, it's Susan Hansen with StressBusterSeries.com. And this is session five of five. And today we have Evan Jensen. He is a health and wellness copywriter. Hi, Evan. Personal trainer and ultra marathon runner. So today, Evan is actually going to give us some top tips for training. So what do you recommend to help people improve their running or training for a race, Evan? Yeah, so you're not going to wake up and run 100 miles. But if you, if you want to walk or jog or run a 5K or a 10K or a half marathon, the concept is the same. Um, start with walking. Walk a mile. Is that comfortable? Okay, walk two miles. Um, then say the next week, try jogging a mile or two miles. Um, then try running. And just, uh, imp just extend that distance a little bit at a time. Not a lot, um, just a little. You wanna just like make progress a little bit at a time and you'll build mm -hmm. muscle strength and endurance by doing that. You'll build a lot of confidence by doing that. Um, it's a good idea to keep track of your exercise activity too, so you can see your progress and see how far you've come. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. What about um, anything else? Any other good tips you'd have for someone just starting out about shoes or equipment or anything like that? Probably the other piece I would consider really important is some type of strength training, body weight training, body weight exercises, resistance training. That's a component uh, that I added to my training so that I could run 100 miles the second year. Um, so American College of Sports Medicine wants you to do some type of resistance training at least two days a week. That could be body weight squats, sit-ups, push-ups. Um, or you could go to the gym and lift weights. Um, that's going to that's gonna strengthen your bones and muscles and improve your running performance. I actually work out in the pool. And you can get a pretty good workout with water resistance. Like, it's amazing <laughs> how hard that is to do my, uh, I have my, you know, foam weights for my arms Excellent. and the flippers on my feet. <laughs> I just hang out in the deep end and, it's so much easier on my joints, but you can really get a good workout with, with resistance. Yes. Absolutely good. good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So what do you recommend to overcome self-doubt and limiting beliefs about running? Like I don't, I really don't believe I could run a hundred miles. So help me <laughs> out here. <laughs> well, it's really the, the, the secret to this, to overcoming self-doubt with about running any distance is the same for any goal that you have, is you have to fill your mind with positive thoughts, with optimistic thoughts. You have to train your mind to look on the bright side of things and be willing to look for a way. Um, there's... What is this? There's this kid's movie my kids watch. It's a penguin surfing movie. And there's a line in it. I, I think so. And there's a line in it that said they're talking about like these impossible waves. And uh, one of the one of the kids that really looks up to the surfer says, it doesn't matter what size of wave it is, he'll find a way. That's that's what you want. And so that could be like reading uplifting books, watching uplifting movies, listening to uplifting music. I, at least I find that makes a big difference in my perspective on the challenges ahead. If that's running 100 miles or if that's like trying to figure out a relationship issue or deal with a problem with the family member or at work, mm -hmm. when you can have that frame of mind that there's a solution to this. I don't, I don't know what it is right now, but there's a solution and I'm going to try and find it. When you can train your mind to think that way, mm -hmm. it's, it's super powerful for whatever it is, running or anything else. Right. And I absolutely agree. I, we've always talked about having a positive mindset, but I like to talk about having a problem solving mindset because that's when you start to ask the, you know, the questions, what can I do? How can I change this? What, what, I, what do I need to do better? How do I, you know, whatever. And that's what causes the, the action, the positive action, right? And moving forward. Nothing else does until you actually reach that point. 
So you're right. And, and you can use it in every area of your life, right? How can I deal with this? You know, uh, like you get up and say, oh, I've got meetings today. You know, I feel crummy. How can I help myself get through these meetings? Or how can I, you know, how can I get through this family reunion? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, you know, yeah, and you know, seriously, or 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 it could be like a very stressful client meeting or anything like that, right? And just ask yourself, you know, how am I going to deal with this? And what you're really asking yourself is, how am I going to show up in my life today? That's the mm -hmm. real question that you're asking, and uh, it's it's uh, amazing, it's important, it's empowering, and uh, and powerful. So just this applying this to the running and then applying all of this to the, your life i'm guessing you're probably approaching life and living a different kind of life than like like not not different kind of life you're living differently you know than you did before right in terms of all the good and the bad and the ugly that comes your way would that be true that you feel like yeah. you approach life in a different way yeah yeah absolutely yeah. it's easy to it's easy to be stuck in a problem and think Nobody knows what this is like. This has never happened to anybody before. There's no way this is ever going to work out. But the truth is, probably at least somewhere in the world, somebody's experienced the same thing from you, and their life went on. And, and, and that's true for you, too. Whatever it is, um, you can overcome it. You can achieve it. Um, you just have to be willing to try. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so true. Well said. Well, thank you very much, Evan. I appreciate you doing the series with us. And I just wanted to share with everyone that if you would like to uh, reach Evan, I'm going to spell his name for you. He's on LinkedIn, but it's E-V-A-N-J-E-N-S-E-N, -E -E Evan Jensen. And you can get him on uh, LinkedIn. You can find him on Facebook. And um, and he's easy to reach, and he's a nice guy, so he'll talk to you. <laughs> so thanks very much, Evan. Really appreciate it. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. All right. Keep running. <laughs> yeah.